I repair roofs for a living. All too often I run into the same mistakes time and time again. Today we're going to get into some of these mistakes. Right here where you're looking at is a nail pop. That's when the nail backs out because of the nail gun hits in between the plywood or a, um, a knot in the wood. Literally backs out creating a hole through the shingle. There it is. The other issue we find is the capping right here. Those nails should be sealed off with some kind of caulk. It doesn't take too long being exposed to the weather for that to rust away. There's another issue that I've been running into with these larger shingles. A shingle's three feet wide. Pretty good. So, right here you have one line on top of another line. There's an underlayment or under course, which we're looking at right now. And then there's the top course, which I'm looking at, which I'm touching right now. What you find is right here, you have one stacked on top of another one. If water gets underneath of there, it could create a water problem. There's one every six feet, one there, one six feet above there, and one here. You need a special under course for that. Um, there's also one more issue I will address. It's a bad piece of plywood that's lifting up and it creates a dam and it traps the water and channels it in a weird way. Right here is the problem. You see that dip? It creates a uh, damming effect. These are a few things I observed on this job. Thank you.